What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to send email with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at sending email with Flask. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along with our little flask app here, we've got this form and in the last video, we looked at error handling. So what happens when somebody doesn't fill out one of these fields, we get this little message. And uh, that's pretty cool. In this video, like I said, I want to talk about how to send email. So with our form, we're not really doing anything with the information we submit, right? We're kind of messing around with it, but we're not actually saving it to a database because we haven't learned about databases yet. We'll get into databases a couple of videos from now, but let's say we want to send ourselves an email saying, hey, you know, somebody just signed up for your newsletter. Here's their information that might be useful. So with Flask, it's really easy to do that. We just need to import one little thing and write a few lines of code and that should be it. So first thing we need to do is let's head back over to our code and here at the top, let's import SMTP lib. Now this is simple mail transfer protocol, maybe library, something like that. Uh, SMTP is just a basic email thing that's all over the internet. And uh, we just need to import this library that allows us to use SMTP. So now we can come down to our actual uh, route here. And remember, we're posting our stuff to our form function. And if in fact, if we come back to our website here and right click view the page source, we can see, yeah, we're posting to form right, right there. So inside this form function, we need to write, you know, whatever we're going to do to send an email. So sending an email is pretty simple and I'm using Gmail. So I'm, these are the instructions for Gmail. If you're using a different email service, these settings are going to be slightly different. You're going to have to Google it and just see what, you know, for your email system uh, or switch to Gmail or whatever, whatever's easiest. So instead of our form function here, we start out, we're already selecting their email address. So we'll sort of keep this in mind. Now we want to create a message. Let's just create a variable. Let's say that we're sending this email to the person that just filled out the form, right? So uh, we, uh, I don't know, you have been subscribed to my email newsletter. I don't know, whatever, just a simple message, right? And so now we need to de define a server. So let's go server equals, and this is just going to be SMTP lib dot SMTP all capital, and this is a function. And now we need to define what SMTP server we're going to use. And we're going to use Gmail. So their SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com. And they listen on port 587. So we have to designate that. So all right, that was easy. So now we can take our server. And we misspelled server right here. There we go server. And we can start TLS. There we go. And this is a function. And this starts up our little server. Now we need to log in. So let's go server.login. And then just type your Gmail address. So John E4196 at gmail.com. And we also need to type in your password, right? So I'm not going to type this in here, but you would type it in here. Now, be wary about doing this, because if you're going to push this code up to GitHub and you type your password in there, the whole world's going to have your password. So you probably don't want to type it in there. Instead, you want to use uh, an environmental variable. So, so you would do something like OS dot, uh, I don't know, depending on your operating system, get environmental thing and then password. I'm not going to show you how to set an environmental variable because it differs from computer to computer, Windows, Linux, Mac, etc. So you could just Google how to set an environmental password or how to set an environmental variable Windows, how to set an environmental variable Mac, etc. Just Google it and you'll find out how to do that. Uh, so instead of that, I'm just going to leave this blank for now. Uh, but that's where the password goes. Okay, then we go server.sendmail. 
And who is this going to be from? It's going to be from us. So it's John E4196. And this needs to be the same email address that you use to log in up here, right? And then we want to send it to email, which is the email address that they gave us. And what we want to do is send the message that we created right here. And that's it. Let me type password here because this is where the password goes. And that's all there is to it. Now, that's it. So we've got one, two, three, four, basically five lines of code, and we can send email now. So I'm going to save this and run it. And let's give this a try. So let's go John Elder, uh, John at codemy.com, submit, and we get an authentication error. Now, this may happen to you because uh, Gmail sometimes won't let you send from third party apps, right? So uh, I just checked my Gmail account on my other monitor here. And sure enough, I got a sign in attempt was blocked message from Gmail, right? And then it says someone just used your password to try to sign into your account from a non Google app, Google blocked them, but you should check what happened, review your account activity, blah, blah, blah. And there's a little link you can click. Uh, I'm going to click Yes, it was me. And it says Google blocked the app that you're trying to use because it doesn't meet our security standards. Some apps and devices use less secure sign in technology, uh, which makes your account more vulnerable. You can turn off access for these apps, which we recommend or turn on access if you want to use them, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then you can click the learn now thing. And it goes to a page called less secured apps. In fact, let's just bring this over here and look at it. So less secure apps. And you need to set this up on your Google account. So to turn it off, you can click on this link. So I'll do that. And now it says it's off. I'm going to go ahead and click to turn it on. And now this should work, right? So now you can come back here and try it again. And now it should work. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.